Hey guys, it's about nine o'clock at night, and I'm sitting here and I'm you know, using my weird voice to talk right now. And I'm really dead, and I'm probably not going to move a single muscle in my body except for my mouth. That way, I sound like one of those really popular singers. Okay, you know, sometimes those gimmicks just don't work. You know, I've been watching videos for about two hours now. I'm almost caught up. Actually, I don't know if I ever will catch up. This last couple of weeks, I just well, yesterday after I was watching, after I got done watching Lost, I saw a lot of commercials for these other TV shows, and one of them caught my interest. It was called The Moment of Truth, and I know that probably just makes you want to like turn off the video right then and there, me even mentioning some show, some reality show. You know, it's like I know a lot of people don't like the whole reality TV thing, but I'm one of those people, I guess, that kind of finds it interesting. I don't know, so. And the moment of truth is like one of those shows. I don't really get. I never really did get the whole polygraph thing. I don't see how you can possibly judge someone's reaction, like whether they're telling the truth or not. Because sometimes when you ask somebody a question, it's not necessarily the fact that they're lying that's causing their blood pressure to go up or whatever. I mean, it could be the fact that they know someone's going to find out the truth, and that could be what's causing their blood pressure to go. I mean, you can't know, but if you know the effect, that's one thing, but you can't say for sure which thing caused it. So, I don't know, but... So yesterday I got it in my head, I wanted to get on this show. So I went to the website, and I found out you had to print out an um, application. See, I don't really have a printer, I do, but the model is so old that they don't even make printer cartridges for it anymore. So I thought, okay, well maybe I'll just go to the library and print it out there. But I looked outside, there's three inches of snow, so I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll just do it later. So I decided to do the video part of the application, and I got that done, and then all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I was just so tired, I decided to go to bed. So it was like 6.30 in the morning, I went to bed, and I didn't get up till 5.30 this afternoon, and now it's 9 o'clock, and I gotta go to work at 2. <laughs> no, but on that last video that I made, since I didn't get a chance to tell the story, I thought I was having to work six days again this week, and... Well, after I made that video, I went into work. They told me to turn around and go back home. I was off that day. I didn't even realize it. So I was like, well, I guess I did get two days off this week. How about that? Now that I'm sitting here really thinking about it, I don't really think I want to get on that TV show. I thought I did, but no, I don't. That's just a bunch of horse patootie. I don't know. It's just some of the questions they ask on there are so broad. They would ask something like, do you blame your father for tearing your family apart? And it's like, well, you know, in a case like that, there's always, like, multiple people that play a part in it. You know, it's not always just one person that did it. You know, so you can't always answer that question truthfully. You know, the question is not, did he tear your family apart? The question is, do you blame him for tearing your family apart? So then you got to go through in your head and think, well, I don't, I don't know if I do or not, you know? I mean, I'm not trying to apply this to my own life. I'm just saying, if someone were asked that question... How could you be sure, even yourself, that that you did? I don't know. You know. Maybe that's why shows like that don't work. I don't know. I was thinking I might go back and catch up on that Terminator show. That, <laughs> that Sarah Connor Chronicles, whatever that is. That looks pretty interesting. There's nothing on TV tonight. There usually isn't on Friday. Well, there's Wedding Crashers is on. Maybe we could watch the weather, see what's... I don't. I have not been watching the Weather Channel. It's just too depressing, man. I'm telling you. Shall we dance? Is on. Hey, I should call mom and tell her. You no, know, mom's probably asleep. The Matrix is on. My God. It's like, why would you put the Matrix on TV? That's like putting Star Wars on TV. You know, like who's actually gonna watch that? If you're a Star Wars fan, you just watch the DVD whenever you want to. Who the hell would actually watch that with commercials? I mean, hell. Or say anything is also on. Say Anything is actually, I think it's kind of overrated, but, eh, I don't know. I think a lot of people think that and they just don't want to say anything because it's so popular. It's the same with Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII to me is like the most overrated video game in the history of anything. And maybe it's only because I didn't play it first. I played Final Fantasy VIII first, and then nine, and then ten, and then after that I went back to seven. Well, I think I need to turn this off. Because I don't feel like I've talked about Jack's squad, you know. I'm sitting here talking for 10 minutes, I ain't said nothing, man. Why are you even still watching this crap? So today is actually February 29th. <clears throat> it's leap year, you don't see this. You almost never see February with five Fridays in it, but of course you can look at your own calendar to see that. See February with five Fridays, five paydays, if, you're, if your payday is on Friday. 
mean, that only happens like once every 28 years, right? So next month we have Sawyer. Um, and then the month after that is hilarious. My month, April, because my birthday is April 5th, and I got Locke and Echo. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what the hell is Locke so happy about? It's like when he says, I'm here to see the submarine. Like when he goes to Ben and he says, I'm here, I'm looking for the submarine. And after he says it, he smiles. It's like he's so happy. It's hilarious, man. So what's up? This light up here, I'm telling you. I don't know what's wrong with it, but... Well, I'm just taking you all over the place. Maybe I can show you my bedroom, huh? This place is a mess. This, this room right here, I have not used this room. Because I always have this room shut off. Usually I do. But if it gets hot in here like it was today, I open it up. So the cold air, is usually it's cold in here. Because I keep this room shut off. But there's just junk in here. There's my printer that I was trying to use to print out that application this morning. That application, as Steve would say. <laughs> like, who the hell is Steve? That's a whole nother story. Here's one of my favorite pictures in the world. Yeah, have I shown you that picture? Because I'm telling you, I have tried so many times to make a video. that, that I, I've tried to make a video about which that picture is actually the central theme. This picture is like two of my co-workers in Georgia dancing. And I've been trying to use that picture to make a point because I never see that happen up here. I never see people just spontaneously break out and dance like that. You know? And I don't know if it's just because I'm older or I don't know what it is, you know? But you think that would just happen once in a while. So I've actually made videos where I talk for like 15 minutes about that as I'm trying to make a point. And I don't even know what point I'm trying to make. I suppose that's all. I don't know. I don't want to turn the camera off, but I guess I better. I'm going to get something else done tonight. I don't have a lot of time left. I don't, dude. I don't. I don't have a lot of time. What's up? Bye! Jeez!